I welcome you all back to our lesson 2 and our final revisions. So I continue from uh, uh, topic 3. This is our topic 3 that we are doing. So uh, if you didn't watch lesson 1, make sure you watch through lesson 1. You can check through my YouTube channel. I've just uploaded it some few hours ago. So this is our lesson 2. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. So we've got uh, this question now, it's under vectors, we're about to start vectors, this is our topic 3. So in this lesson also, I'll try to cover two topics, this is the first one that I'm starting with, which are vectors. So, how can we answer this question? It's saying, this is a parallelogram due to space, as you can see, I don't have space, so some questions, I want to be able to write them, but I'll just be writing important things that you need to note even in an exam so it is saying oh hey, this is a parallelogram if i remember uh, very well this question the way this question was was saying in the this is uh in the parallelogram below o a b c o a is equal to vector 4 a o c is equal to 6 c a p is equal to 2 over 3 a c and M is the midpoint of BC. This is how the question. So I'll be writing the question one, one, one by one. So it is saying, find in terms of, this is how a question will be coming. Find in terms of, so they will say, find, don't be confused. Find in terms, this is what they are saying. Find in terms, in terms of A, have you seen vector A? And they will put slash O C. This is how they are saying. So this is how questions will be coming. This part I won't write it. So this is how the questions are coming. So the first question now, due to space, the first question is saying find A C vector A C. How can we find vector A C? So one thing that you need to know whenever we are talking about vectors, we move in a triangle form so we need to move in a triangle even as we are moving we need to be making a triangle so these vectors are very simple because these are just two dimensional vectors so these ones i believe you won't face some challenges they are just, they are just the same once you know this one then everything becomes simple so now what are we supposed to do now ac where is ac AC is here. Have you seen? This is your AC. Then I've told you that you need to move in a what? You need to move in a triangle way. So you are, you are coming from A going at C. You can move A, B, B, C. You can move that way. Or you can move in this way. A, O, O, C. You can move in that direction. You can choose in whatsoever direction that you want to move. Hope I've made myself clear. So you can go with this way. You can go with this way. As long as you arrive at the answer. There is no problem with that. So AC, me I'll go with this way. So this is a parallelogram. Whenever we are talking about a parallelogram. This is 6C. Even that side is 6C. Even this one is 4A. These sides are equal. This side and that side, even this one and that one, they are equal. So I want to find AC. How can I find AC? I'll move AO. So I'm going to move in this manner. I'll say AO plus. Plus what? AO. Oh yeah. Then from here now, OC. This is what I'm going to move. OC plus OC. Like this. So this is how I'm going to move. Then I just substitute. I say AC is equal to. So AO. What is my AO? If you check at your diagram. AO. What, what is happening here? You are going against this arrow. Have you seen? So each time you are against the arrow. Which means that is a negative vector. So I'm against AO. I'm against the vector. Have you seen? I'm against this vector. Which means that it is negative. It's negative what? 4a. So this is what I'm going to say. It is negative 4a. I put something down there. This is 4a. 
Then I say plus. O C. What is my O C? O C. O C. O C. O C. It is what? 6 C. So I'm going to put my 6 C there. I'm going to say 6 C. Like this. So if you don't know what you are doing exactly, it's fine. You can end here. They can even mark you. But if you really know what you are doing, it's better you change that negative. You write it in this way. So you can also write it in this way. You say 6C minus. You start the negative comes inside. So 4A vector 4A like that. So if you know what you're doing, you can write it in this way. If you know that signs won't temper with you or signs won't be a challenge to you. So you can write your answer in this manner. But if you're afraid of signs, just leave it here. Just These two are just one and the same. So you can leave it here or there. There is no problem. So you've answered that one. So we've answered that question. So we've answered that question, which is, this is equal to what? 6C minus 4A. This is our answer. To the next question, we move to the next question. So this is our answer. We've answered this one. Let's move to the other one. So hope you are able to follow clearly. So the other one is saying find O P. Find O P. How can you find O P? So where is O P? Where is your O P? O P is here. You are coming from O going at P. So you can move from here to there, then there. You need to move in a triangle. So you need to make sure that a triangle has been formed even as you are moving. So what you are going to do is that you are, you are, you cannot go direct. No, you can move in this way. You say this, that, this, that. Have you seen? So it's better you move in this way, where you say this is what. What are you going to do here? What you are going to say is that you are going to say O A. Have you seen O A? So you are going to say O A plus vector O A plus. O A then A P plus A P. This is what you are going to do. Have you seen the work done? So this is how you need also to do it. So just like this, this is how questions will be coming. So you say O P vector O P. Don't forget those these things I'm putting on top. It means that this is a vector. So all those things don't forget them. So O P is because what is O A O A. Where is your OA? You check your diagram. OA is what? I'm going where a vector is pointing. That's where I'm going. So that one should be a positive. Just like that. 4A. What is my AP? AP. Do I have AP there? Do I have the AP there? No. I don't have. How can I find the AP? I take the information which is given. So the information which is given is this one. Have you seen? That is the information. So AP is equal to AP is equal to 2 over 3 AC. So you are going to say that one is equal to AP is equal to plus 2 over 3 then AC. Like this. This is what you are going to do. This one is given in the question. So when you see a vector which you cannot find, try to analyze the data which you are given in the question. So you say OP, OP is equal to OP is equal to 4A. Plus, plus 2 over 3. What is AC? The one that you are just from finding. So AC we found it was what? It was 6C like this minus 4A. It was like this. So you just put your answer like this. So if you wrote negative 4A plus 6C, it's just one and the same. You can put it there. You will still get the final answer. So like this now. You continue and say, this is what you are going to say. You are going to say OP now. OP is equal to. So OP is equal to what? You are going to say 4A. You start multiplying now. So what is uh, 3 into, uh, what is 3 times uh, 2 times 6? It is uh, 12, right? 12 divided by 3, it is 4. So plus 4C. Have you seen? Then I say minus what is 2 times 4? 8. 8 over 3. So this one it cannot end. So I just say 8 over 3. Then I put the A there. This is what I'm going to do. Then I say OP. OP is equal to 
So OP is equal to, I group the like terms here. So I need to group the like terms here. Just need to group the like terms here. So how am I going to group the like terms here? Just uh, simple. I say this is 4A minus 8 over 3A. That is A there. Then plus 4C like this. Then what will be my final answer? My final answer will just be OP. OP is equal to. So OP is equal to what? OP is equal to. Have you seen the way you've done this? On a separate paper you say that is 4 minus 8 over 3 over 1. What's the common denominator? It's 3. 1 into 3, 3. 3 times 4, it is 12. Minus 3 into 3, 1. 1 times 8, 8, which is equal to 4 over 3. This is what you're going to get. So what's the answer there? 4 over 3. So it's 4 over 3. Then you put your what? You put your A like this. Then press 4 C. You are done. This is your answer. Have you seen? This is your O P. So this is your answer. This is where you need to end from. Like this, you are done. This will be done on a separate paper. Just on a separate paper or in the same answer booklet. Uh, you, in this question paper, in that same question paper. Because uh, on the question paper, you won't submit the question paper. You submit the answer booklet. So you can do all your life working on another paper. Not in the answer booklet where you are putting your answer. You need to make sure that your answer booklet is clean. So we've answered that one. Let's now go to the next question. Hope you've seen how this one is. So these answers are very important. Let me write them somewhere. Maybe the next question can require of us to use them. So once you fail the first one, which means everything now is affected. So make sure you answer these correctly and sensitive you need to be sensitive okay so let's move to the next one let's move to the next one let's move to the next part let's move to the next part we move to the next part we move to the next part let's move to the next part so what's the question saying the question is saying find o m find o m this is part c now how can you find o m how are we going to find o m so OM, you know that OM, where is O? OM, OM. How are we going to find OM? So you are told, okay, OM, how am I going to find OM? Like, you, so it is not given, so you need to put that one. O from here, O. So you put a line here. You make your own line like that. Have you seen? You make your own line because it was not given. So you want to find this one. I make my own line OM. It was not given. I make my own line like that. But I'm told that M is the midpoint of BC. M is the midpoint of what? BC. This is what I'm given. M is the midpoint. So this is the midpoint of BC. Have you seen? Midpoint of what? BC. BC you know that. Vector BC is what? 4A. Don't forget that. That one, which is there, is the same one, which is here. So, you want to find OM. How are you going to move? How are you going to move OM? You cannot say OA, AB, BM. Have you seen? No, that one cannot work. So, the only loot which is available is this loot. You say OC, CM. This is the only loot. That is a variable for us to use because if I go with that one, it won't be possible. From here, I move there, there to there. It is already a quadrilateral that I'm making. I've told you, you need to be moving in a triangle. One, two, you reach. So don't say I'll go direct. No, at OM, no. You you are finding OM. So you say OC, OC, these are vector, vector, OC plus CM. Press what? Press C, M. This is what we need to do. So these are procedures that we need to do. Like this, then you are set. Then you start now the pressing. You say O, M is equal to. O, M is equal to. What is your O, C? O is here. This is where your O, O, C. 
six c six c like this then you say press what is your c m c m you are told that this is what c m this is have you, have you seen where the arrow is going like this we are going there this is where the arrow is also going so c m half of what b c so half of b c that is just half of b c half of what b c half of b c so it's just half of b c b c you know you can put here if you want you can say b c half of b c because that's the midpoint but you know the b c you won't write b c there you are going to write what is there which is what 4 a have you seen so here you are going to put times showing you are multiplying so your final answer you know that o m will be equal to what 6 c plus 2 into 4 it is 2 so it's 2 a like this you are done so this is your what this is your answer that's how you need to answer questions under vectors these are procedures that you need to follow so let's make sure we know this let's make sure that we understand all these uh, formulas which i've given you so let's uh, look at another question let us look at another question under vectors so let us look at another question under vectors let me just write it our next question that we are having this is our next question so it is saying uh o a is equal to 4 a o b is equals to 3 b m is the midpoint of a b m is the midpoint of a b and o b is equal to 3 b d that's what you need to know and understand so it is saying express in terms of a and o b the first question is the first question is find a b vector a b how can we find vector a b in which way can we answer a b how can we answer a b a b where is a b a b how can we move can you move in this way no you don't know what is here so you're going to move in this way a o o b so move in a way that you know that answers won't be difficult to find o b like this is how you are going to move where you say a b is equal to what is o a o a you are going you are going against the arrow don't forget this you are going against so if you are going against this means it is negative four what four a this is what you need to know and understand then you say plus o b o b is 3 b so 3 b you put these things down here to show that they are vectors this is your answer you are done that's how you need to answer it so these are steps that you need to follow even as you are answering such a question we move to the other part we move to the next question so keep that answer i'm going to write it somewhere maybe i may need it down so it is negative 4a plus 3b like that so this is our answer so this is the first part i move to the second part let me move to the second part so i move to the second part which is o m i'm just told to find o m how can i find o m oh where is o m o m is here here there is no line i need to put the line myself o m there this is the one i want to find so how can i find o m in which way can i find o m i'm going to do it is what o a a m this is what i'm going to do so i'm going to say this is what o m i want to find o m so i'll say o a o a plus plus what a m like this this is how your answers are going to be like this this is these are steps that you are going to follow where you say o m is equal to what is the o a o a o a that one you are going with the r so it is 4a plus 
O M. I mean A M. A M. What is A M? What is A M? A M. You know that A M from here to there. M is the midpoint. So from here to there and here to there, it's the same. So midpoint. What do I mean when I say it is the midpoint? It is half. So one over two. Of what? A B. Of what? A B. Like this. This is what you need to know. From here now, what am I supposed to do next? I say O M is equal to. So this one is equal to. What is 4A plus half? A B. A B we found it was what? Negative 4A. This is the answer we got. Plus. Plus what? It was plus 3B. 3B. It was like this. This is the answer we found. So have you seen this? Are giving each other so if you fail the first one which means even the second one you're going to fail so even as we are answering we need to be very much attentively to how the questions are coming so this is equal to 4a so this one into that one this one can go into that one so negative here is 2 1 there 2 so it's what 2a but this half multiplied by 3 it will maintain. So I'm going to have positive, uh, positive uh, 3 over 2. Then I put a B there. The way I'm going to say OM, OM is now equal to what? OM is now equal to what? This minus that. 4 minus 2. It is 2A plus 3 over 2B. You are done. So this is my what? This is my answer. These are steps that you need to know. This is what you need to understand. Let me write it somewhere. Maybe in the next question, I may need it. K, like this. A B. This is my answer. So this is how you need to answer this one. These are steps that you need to follow. These are things that you need to know and understand. So we are done with that one. Let us now move to the next one. We move to the next one. We move to the next one. So... The main thing here is just to understand the question. Just understand the way a question is. Once you understand the way a question is, then everything will be simple to you. So, let us now uh, uh, answer this last question. This is AD. This is the last question, which is AD. How can you answer AD? How can you answer AD? Where is AD? Where is AD? Where is AD? A D is here. Have you seen where A D is? A D. How can you answer A D? This is the simplest of all. You just say from here to there, then there to there. This is what you are going to do. Or you can say A B then B D. You are done. This is very simple. So you can move in whatsoever way that you want to move. But the question that you need to have. Do you have the BD? Do you have the BD? The answer is no. You don't have. But you are given something in the question. This is what you are given. So we can find what? We can find BD. Do you have OB? Do you have OB? Yes. OB is 3. Have you seen it is what? So it is saying that OB is equal to 3BD. So OB you have, which is 3B, is equal to 3BD. You divide both sides by 3. You divide both sides by 3. So this is a vector there. So 3, 3 cancelled. You are going to say BD is now equal to 3, 3 cancelled. It's just B. Is That's a vector. So it's just B. So what is here? It's just a B. So you put a B here. It's just what? It's just B. Then you move in a way that you are going to understand. So I've told you that you need to move A, O, then O, D. As simple as that. So you move what? A, O, plus. Plus what? Plus O, D. This is what you are going to do. Which is equal to. What is A, O? This is A, O. This is what you are given there. Which is what? 4, A, then you say, is this correct? No. I'm going against. Against the arrow, so this one should be negative. Hope you noticed that one. Like that. 
then I say plus. Plus what? O, D. This is 3, B. This is B. So in total, that's a 4. So that is a what? A 4, a B, like this. This is how you need to answer it. Like this, you are done. So this is how you need to answer this one. These are steps that you need to follow. So let me just highlight something. If a question comes in an exam under this, uh, what you need to do, certain things that you need to put into consideration. So if you are given something like this, let's say you are given something like uh, this. Let's say you are given something like, uh, you are given a triangle. So just construct a simple triangle here. You are given something like this. Then you are told that this is A, B, this is C, this is a D. You are given something like this. Then in the question, there is a line that is cutting. Let's say uh, here, there is another line that is penetrating through. Then here you are told that there, there is H, like that. So now, then you are given, this is 4A. I'm going to put some values. This is 4A. This is, uh, let's say this is 2B. Two, uh, two this is 2B. Have you seen like this? Then somewhere on top, you are given something like this. On top, you are given something like AH2HB is equal to 2 to 4. You are given a ratio. Something like this. You are given a what? A ratio. So when you are given a ratio, which means that this one is what? AH. So AH is going with that one. So from here to there, it is 2. But HB, from HB, HB, the, this one which is here. You just follow what is given, which is what? 4. So which means that one is 4. So if I'm told to find AH, the total line here, if I add this to what am I going to have? I'm going to have a 6. So if I'm told to find A, H. If I'm told to find A, H. A, H. Vector A, H will be equal to what? I'll say 2 over the total line, which is 6. Then I say A, B. This is what I'm going to do. So this is what you need to do. Some questions... They will give you a ratio. So don't rush into saying it's half. They say I was using half, so I need to be using half. No, you are not supposed to do that. You just need to understand the information which is given. Sometimes they will try to confuse you. Have you seen here they said, what if here they say A, B? They just confuse you. They say A, B. Then they put a 6 here. So they are saying A, H is for this one. A, H is 2. But here they have said A, B. A, B is a total line. So if a total line is 6, then uh, what is this part? You just say 6 minus what you are given here, a 4. So it means there you, we are going to have a 4. So the information can be given in this. It can be given in so many ways. Just need to understand what you are given. These vectors are very simple as long as you understand the question, you understand what you are told and what you are given. So this is what you need to know. Now, let us now move to the last one. We move to the last uh, topic. Hope you've understood something on vectors. So, look, look forward for lesson three. It is coming shortly. So, let's uh, now, this is our topic four now, which are computer operations. So, computer operations, computer operations. So, this is the simplest of all. Computer operations is very simple, very, very, very simple. We are all going to understand it. We are all going to get. So, sometimes you'll be given, let's say you're given a flow chart. This is a flow chart. They say start. So, they say start. Down here, they say enter. So, this is the last thing that we are doing. Enter what? Enter radius. This is what you're given. Then process. So this means you are processing. Have you seen? You are processing. So easy. You are saying easy. Like this. Radius. Modulus of radius. Less than 1. This is equation. Then here. What are they saying? Here what they are saying. This is what they are saying. 
so what they are saying is that there is just a formula here there is just a formula so i'm even saying the formula should be written in this cup in this box that looks like this so sum to infinity sum to infinity is equal to a over one minus r that's like that then here you move it is saying what what is it saying it is saying display so you put something like this like you do this it's saying display sum to infinity so here it is written display sum to infinity sum to infinity this is what is written there display sum to infinity then finally there is this oval shaped written stop so this is a flow chart which you are given you are given a flow chart like this one this is a flow chart which you are given have you seen the way the flow chart is so you answer according to what the flow chart is saying so you need to put something like this your answers should be going in this way something like this your answers should be in this way have you seen that's how your answers should be something like that they should not be straight so you start with the first one it is saying what start so here you need to put it start just need to follow this one uh if you, as long as you know how to follow instructions then you can answer this one because you are just copying exactly tell you start you write start enter you put enter here you say enter enter what enter radius that is what enter r enter r so r here you know that this is sum to infinity so sum to infinity r means common ratio so just put r there if you want you can say common ratio but it's better you just write what you're given here there is is so if there is is here you need to put what here you need to put if have you seen if if this one is less than have you seen if common ratio is less than if common ratio is what if common ratio is less than one this is what you're giving if you want you can write in words the choice is yours there is to mark you if common ratio is less is what is less than one if common ratio is less than one you do that that's what you need to do then what's the next thing the next thing here you are told the formula so before you write the formula you need to put this word which i'm writing here else so you are going to put else then you say sum to infinity is equal to sum to infinity is equal to you write the formula a over one minus r just you are copying exactly what you are given you are not putting you are not adding your own things here you are just uh, putting exactly what you are given so this one then after you write the formula there is this box that is saying display sum to infinity so before you write display any here at the end before you write display you need to say end end if then you say comma end if display you write everything display sum to infinity sum to what sum to infinity sum to infinity just say sum to infinity just copy exactly the way it is sum to infinity then here you say straight away vision like this this should be straight like this you say what you say stop this is what you need to do you say what you say stop so you need to lab this now this was just to tell you if you are not good in making something like this have you seen how it has come out this is how it must come out so you just need to follow the same procedures i'm doing then you are done no need of stressing no need of putting your own thing what this is very simple just need to follow instructions so when you are good at instructions then this will be very simple so like i've told you before you write the formula any formula put else before you write display what display volume display what print what put end if then you write print if it is display you write display 
then stop. So this this was a flowchart. You are given a flowchart, then you write a what a pseudo code. So this is a pseudo code. This is how you need to write a pseudo code. I've told you it should be something like this. This is looking nice. Have you seen? But you need to make sure your work is uh, neatly written. You know, to whereby this is written like this. Even the marker uh, is uh, feeling pity on you. Don't uh, don't be such a student. So make sure. You follow instructions. The way I'm doing it, that's the same way you can do it. I know you can do this. So make sure you just practice through. So once you are practicing, you are making things better. This is what you need to do. Now, what if you are given a pseudo code? Then you are told to write a flow chart. So these are just in two. You are given a pseudo code, write a flow chart. Or you are given a flow chart, you write a pseudo code. This is how equation comes. So let's look at equation where you are given uh, now a pseudo code. You are taught to write a flow chart. Let's look at that question. Question which you are given. Have you seen the way this question is like this? This is the question. How the question is. So you are given a pseudo code. Have you seen the way they have written it? Nicely like that. Then. Uh, they will tell you to write a flow chart now. They will say construct a flow chart. So even here, you now need to just construct it the same way those ones, uh, the first example that you did, how it was, that's how this one also should be. So just need to follow uh, what you are told and what you are given. The first one is what? We start. Start. So you put start. I'll write it here so that we follow. So start. I say start. I do this. Then what is given? Enter. So enter. Where am I supposed to put enter? In something that looks like this. This is called a parallelogram. Have you seen? You just say enter there. You say enter. Enter what? You enter A. Enter R, comma N. Like that. You give it to something. Which is what? Have you seen that... Uh, this one looks like a formula. This one looks like a formula. So you are going to put that one in there. Something that... So anything that looks like a formula, you need to put it in something that is like this. Where you say R is equal to 1 minus R. Like that. So there you continue now with what you are given. You do that. So you continue. What's the next thing? The next thing they are telling us what... If R is 0, if R is what? 0. Processing. You are processing. So you are doing what? You are processing. So when you are processing, you need to write it in a box like this. You say is. So there if it is written if. Here you put is. R equal to 0 like this. You are asking a question like this. You even put a question mark. You need to put a question mark. Then... What are you told? Print the value of R. So print the value of R is not valid. So where are you supposed to put that one? So after processing, when you see something like this, it needs to come here. Print, not down here. After processing, should come here in a parallelogram like this. A parallelogram like this. Where you say print, you write everything. Print, you do that. Print, you say the value the value, you write it nicely, the value of R is not varied. You do it like this. You even put those like this. You are done. So you put another box here down, which is saying, so what is the next thing now? What's the next thing? What's the next thing? Else formula, you know the formula should be in a box that looks like this. So the formula now, you write the word, the formula. So we write the formula in something that looks like this. So what's the formula there? The formula is what? S is equal to A like this. 1 minus R power N cross over, over R like this. You put it down here. You say down here. What is next here? So me, I don't have space here. I'm going to continue from here. So don't be confused. I will continue from here. It's saying print this and if print this print 
in something that looks like this you print so from here you continue from there you say print print what this then finally you say stop this is what you're given there stop so just put your stop there have you seen like this you are done so this should be a continuation from here from here you continue from there so this is what you need to do this one this is how you need to work out that one so these are things that you need to know these are things that you open your mind even as you enter the exam room so let's make sure we know this let's make sure that we get all the things which i've said here thank you so much so look forward for another lesson we we are going to be back with uh, lesson three this is lesson two so we've covered uh, vectors and computer operations so make sure you uh, watch even lesson three thank you so much and if you've got uh, any person a child a daughter that uh, wants tuitions in mathematics chemistry or physics you can contact me on this number this is my number you can contact me on this one this is my number you can contact me on this one which is uh, 0971066747 this is my number i can prepare them for their exams if they are writing this year or next year gce i can help them thank you so much